Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. So I haven't done a review video in a while, so I thought I'd do a couple of those. I've got a few of the gifts I received for Christmas out here in front of me. So I've got four items here that I'm gonna try and get reviews out uh, in the next couple weeks. And then I actually have an Insta360 camera that should be coming in the mail shortly as well. Heard great things about that, so may try and put a review out for that camera. Some of this stuff, well specifically one item here is not really hunting related, but if you enjoy hunting, a lot of those people enjoy golfing as well. So this is a pretty cool item, so I wanted to review that. But just a quick overview of what we've got here. I've got some boot insulators. I've heard great things about these Arctic Shield insulators. So I'm gonna go ahead and review this one first. I'll review that today. I've got the Excite 4K Pro camera by ATN. This is a night vision camera, a 5 to 20X. So I'm really excited to try this out. We've had a lot of coyotes at the property. And I will put a link in the description for this review as well once that gets uploaded. And then I have this Bushnell Wingman. It is a speaker that you can put on your golf cart and it tells you the distances. It's got a ton of courses in there. My buddy had one of these last time I went golfing and it was it was pretty awesome. So I wanted to buy one for myself and I figured I might as well do a review on it in case any of y'all are interested. And then this one's a little tough to see, but it is the BOG Death Grip tripod mount. I've been wanting this thing for a while and I got it for Christmas, so I'm really excited to take it out of the box, set it up, and see how well it actually works. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started with these boot insulators. This will most likely be a pretty short video. It's kind of a unique year in Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, it's cold today, so I may test it out today, but we've been in the 70s and 80s, and it is January 3rd today. So. I don't know if I'll be able to test those out this year. If I do, I may do an updated video on the review. I may try them out today and go sit outside for a little bit and see how well they work. But I'll do that one first, and then I'll follow up with these a little bit later. Again, I will put links in the descriptions for all these items, as well as where you can go and buy them uh, on Amazon. So stay tuned and I hope you all enjoy these videos. So like I said, we are starting with the Arctic Shield boot insulators. They come in men's and women's sizes from small to 2XL. So they should fit most boots. I'm actually going to grab mine and make sure they fit over them. I may even try them on and test them out. But I've heard great things about these. We don't get super cold weather in Oklahoma and Texas. We'll get into the 30 sometimes like last year we had the freeze in february we'll get into the the single digits and the feels like will be negative occasionally but that's that's very rare so don't have to use these in extreme temperatures so i won't be able to test it to that extent but for texas and oklahoma i don't see me having an issue with keeping my feet warm with these So it says it captures 90% of your body heat and keeps it inside. So if that's true, it'll, it'll work pretty well. It's lightweight, compact, easily fits over your boots and shoes, has a draw cord adjustment. Looks like it has a zipper on the back. So we'll test that out. I don't see this boxing, what size this one actually is. It's kind of surprising. Um, oh, there it is. So these are the extra large, which on the back it says it fits a 12 to 13 size shoe. My tennis shoe is actually like a 10 and a half, um, but my boots are obviously pretty big. I think it's gonna kind of depend on what boots you wear. But let's take a look at this. These do look awfully large so I may may have gone too big with them but as you can see they're pretty large and put my hand here and, and feel around it's not what is I, I was expecting more of a Sherpa lines but it's actually kind of a kind of a, a silky type of feel to it I mean it feels comfortable the bottoms 
kind of have a little grip on it. So one thing that I believe most people do is they actually take these to the stand, then they put them on while they're in their stand. They don't actually wear them and walk out to their stand. Based on this feel, it makes sense. I don't think these would stand up to walking in any sort of rugged terrain. So this is going to be something I believe that you're really going to probably only be putting on once you get to your stand. So I have one of my boots here. This is a Chippewa boot. Let's see if it tells me the size. So it says it's a size 10 M and the XL looks like it's good for 12 to 13. So we'll see how well it fits and if it feels tight. I mean, it's got a drawstring here and a zipper on the back. So we'll see how well they work, but I may have to downsize. Uh, so we'll see, I'll just stick it in here for now. So it may be better to have to try these on actually, but you can kind of see it zips up. It actually seems like this may be the right size. It fits pretty snugly. There's not a lot of room in the front or the back. You can tighten it with your drawstring. And like I said, it zips up here on the back. It's got a clip, which is kind of nice. You can clip these together to make sure you don't lose one. So it actually seems pretty nice. I will, I'll put my boot on. You may not be able to see it, but I'll take this off. I'll put the boot on and then we'll see how it, uh, how it fits. All right, so I've got my boot here and then we will just see how this guy fits. So it seems to go on pretty easily. We'll zip it up here in the back, tighten up the drawstring. I mean, they feel like they fit. Again, it's not really cold uh, enough for me to be sitting outside. I may do a little bit hunting in January, late January, so I'll try them out then, and if I do, I'll do another review, but they seem to work, and I've heard great reviews on them, so I'm excited to test them out. I will say they come on and off pretty easily, which is kind of nice. I thought it may be kind of a pain to get them on and off in the stand, but I think you should be able to do it fairly easily and fairly quickly. And they seem to fold up relatively small. I mean, I'm sure you can fold them up even smaller than what this is. If you wanted to fold them in half, you may be able to do that. But, I mean, they can fit in your backpack pretty easily, so... I'm really excited to try these out. If you all have any questions on them, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll put a link again in the description of where I bought these on Amazon. And I think the toughest part you're gonna have is probably sizing. These XLs say they're good for 12 to 13 size shoes. My Chippewa boots I'm wearing are a 10M. And it seems to fit pretty well. I'm not sure how snug they're really supposed to be. So maybe a large still would have worked, but the XL definitely works and it doesn't feel like it's too big. So I'm excited to try these out. Hope you all enjoy this video and watch my future review videos on those items I discussed at the beginning. And I will see you all next week.